Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it's Wednesday for you guys. No, Tuesday. For... What day is it? Ah, hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and today we're going to talk about the mosaic crochet that we're doing. Okay, Mary and I are doing it. Mary's behind. Well, there's no such thing as behind, but Mary's had some life stuff, so she hasn't been... Um, keeping up and making as much progress but then again honestly this last week I haven't made very much progress it's been a week guys um so I'm gonna show you my blanket we're gonna talk about the 10 gram challenge and maybe a little bit of why but before we do that remember to hook that subscribe button and like the video and of course leave some yarn in the comments um and I gotta turn the light down. It does a little better on this side, but it still causes me pain. Oh look, that's right there. Is going with, there we go, hi, I did it. Uh, that is from the window, like coming in through the window. Anyway, um, so the 10 gram challenge, that's been interesting. I've been making progress on my granddaughter's sweater doing 10 grams and oh, I actually got more than 15 or sorry at least 15 one day but I stopped weighing I was like I just don't care so my green sweater I am no longer trying to do the 10 gram challenge but I am trying to do as much as I can during the day because I do want that sweater done and I have other projects I want to get on to um but for the a sweater for my granddaughter the 10 gram thing is actually very helpful uh, I'm gonna pull that out and show you and so keep it in this cute little pink bag pink bag it's not pink the flowers are pink some of them are blue and yellow and anyway, I keep it in this bag with all the flowers on it um, and if you remember I'm working on the three panels I've got the back panel and the two the front two front two you know the two um, pretty close to doing the next buttonhole it's hard to see that my um, my things right there so I'm really close to doing the, the next buttonhole um, the 10 gram challenge helps with this because 10 grams when I weighed it is going across three times so doing all the way across this panel this panel this panel and then back and then a back so going across all three panels three rows is 10 grams there are days that that's all I can get myself to do on it part of the problem is this is all cable work all of it is cable work like there's some seed or some uh, ribbing on the edge there's some seed stitch uh, but everything is else is cable work back fronts all of it the sleeves are going to as well although I think the sleeves just have one cable that goes up and then the rest is like a um, it's like a ribbing where every other rib is twist stitch and the twist stitch is super easy but I tell you cables they're slower um, it's slower knitting because of how you have to twist things around it's harder on my hands than regular knitting because when you do twist things around um, some of those stitches are tighter so just by the nature of how a cable works so to have the 10 grams like I have to do three rows to meet my challenge forces me to do to keep going and three rows isn't very much but with this kind of knitting it's actually very very nice um, I do try if if time allows or my hands allow I try to do four so the 10 gram challenge has turned out to be very beneficial for this sweater but uh, if you come back tomorrow I'll show you my other sweater 
and what I'm doing on it because I stopped counting it as a 10 gram. I'm like, I just, it was too much effort to weigh. It was really hard to get past it. The only reason I did get past the 10 grams was because it was the only project I had with me at a friend's house while she was doing my daughter's nails. And so it took forever. I mean, it doesn't take forever, but it does take two and a half to three hours to get her nails done. Um, it takes longer for my other daughter to get her nails done. So, yeah. Um, let's talk about the mosaic, overlay mosaic crochet. I am not as far as I was hoped to be because there was quite a few days where I didn't pick it up. But, um, again, this is, we measured it and it's like 58 inches, I think from edge to edge and then um, by the time I put the border on it will be 60 inches so that's exciting to know um, so we got the red again and of course the orange and the yellow and green and the first section of blue and the purple and then that's how far I am on the next section of blue. It looks really cool. I love it. Uh, I do know that this section is much bigger than, well, not much bigger is, means four or five rows bigger <laughs> than the other section. So it's going to be a bigger section. Uh, similar, like the green section's a little bit taller. Um, I think the blue one's even taller than that. Cause the purple section is a little taller but it's okay because some sections were smaller but yeah that's what we have going on so far um i love it if we hold it this way so that the triangles at the bottom you can see the little g's and the back of course is this striped stuff which has its own kind of coolness, but not necessarily the show it side. She has recently, this is from Juniper and Oaks, she has recently showed how to do the negative stitch, which makes it so that your blankets are more reversible. Um, it doesn't put the pattern in the exact same place, but it definitely um, puts a copy of the pattern on the other side. It looks great. Um, I was way into this one before I learned about it, but I wish I would have known. That would have been fun, but that also would have taken even more time to work across this. Uh, regular mosaic crochet is pretty easy. The other is easy, it just takes a little bit more time um, because instead of just doing a single crochet in the back loop, you're doing a thing that goes down and pulls up the back and stuff. So it's all, it's all what it is. Anyway, I'm excited about it. I think it's really fun. I think that the progress is way awesome. So with that, remember to let your light shine through your creations, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!